Ida, spelt Ida, um, which is the Paweł Palikowski uh, film. Uh, so set in early 60s Poland. And the story centres on a young novitiate uh, nun uh, called Anna, who is about to take her vows, but she's told before that she does that she needs to go out and meet her only the surviving relative, who is uh, Aunt Wanda. She, she immediately wants to do, but she goes and meets Aunt Wanda. Aunt Wanda is a very sort of abrasive presence who has a, a, a strong taste for drink and men and sort of looks at the world with a very cynical, very harsh view and reveals immediately that Anna is in fact, that the family are in fact Jewish, that her original name was Ida, and that what she needs to do before she does anything else is to discover what happened to her family. And the drama then becomes a sort of unearthing of the traumas of World War Two. and this just relates to some extent to you know, a Night Will Fall, which came out uh, last week, which is a documentary about the reconstruction of a documentary about the Holocaust, an absolutely an, a devastating documentary about, about the Holocaust. So the film is dealing with the personal, the political, the spiritual, all together in a sort of fairly simple story of a young woman trying to find out about her past. It's shot in four by three black and white, old academy ratio, the old square frame. And one of the things that you notice almost immediately about it is that the protagonists keep finding themselves at the bottom of the frame or pushed to one of the corners of the frame. And it's as if the movie is saying that they are but bit part players in a much larger story. And this is this story does go way beyond the personal. It is, in fact, a you know, political story about guilt and betrayal and the aftermath of the war and allegiances and communism and uh, Christianity and Judaism and all these things are sort of fighting for space. But during the course of the movie, our central character does, I think, not everyone has read it this way, I think that she does start to find her own position in the world more. And as she does so, she also starts to find her place within the frame. I have to say not everybody has read it that way. It's a really wonderfully constructed movie. I mean, visually, it's this kind of slightly off-kilter look. Of, as I said, the fact that the protagonists are always almost fighting to be seen in the frame. It looks at first like it's going to be a contrivance, but actually works very well. The stark black and white is very, very arresting, very powerful. I thought the film had more warmth than perhaps some people did. It's about a sort of cold and unrelenting world and about themes of guilt and remorse, but it also has warmth and humour and, and a heart and music and, and jazz and... Uh, and it's really quite mesmerising and you get the sense watching it that if you watched it again and a third time and a fourth time, it would reveal more and more from this apparently fairly simple story. What I was most impressed by was the fact that it does tell a historic story, a political story, a story which has real sort of, you know, geopolitical substance, but it tells it from a personal point of view and you can watch it in that manner. And it is called, well, it's spelled Ida, but pronounced Ida.